heading to the field. The Roosters are out. The Bunnies not too far behind. Let's head to the commentary box now. It's a very good evening. Matthew Thompson. Thanks, James. The clock's been ticking on this all week. The most bitter of rugby league rivalries. And here's Cameron Murray taking South Sydney out. For all the talk of emotion and fire, South have dominated. The recent exchanges, they've scored 140 points in their last three games against the Roosters, including two half centuries in that. There's Joey Manu. Everyone will be waiting for his first coming together with Latrell Mitchell. But I want to, uh, I want to pinpoint a couple of the, the key players here. So Tilly Tupanua, Andrew Johnson, so say good evening to you. He has become one of the most destructive back rowers in the game, and his performance against Manly last week was breathtaking. He's one of those players that can hurt a defender when he runs the ball. He's all elbows and knees. Big test for the young halfback tonight, Lachlan Ilias. He's up against Satili. And it feels like his confidence this year has gone through the roof. Some player. You look back through the record books, 2005. Uh, Souths won their first match against the Roosters in a decade. Brad Fittler played his 300th in a, a, a derby. Alex Johnston there on screen. He has had a, a day out on a couple of occasions recently against the Roosters. Eight tries against them in their last three games, including a haul of five Stay back, back in 2022. Latrell's got the ball placed. Let's get this on. Friday night footy from a core stadium home bush. And back comes Siwa Taukayaho, and look at the driving defence of South Sydney. They're up quickly on Daniel Tupo this time. And a little admission there, I noticed from Jason Dimitriou talking with Brad Fittler, saying that I don't need to say much, there's enough emotion in this already. That's the first time we've had any acknowledgement this week of the emotion in the game. Both coaches at pains to play it all down. Radley now. It doesn't matter who he's playing against, there's emotion in his football. Hutchison and an early kick here for Luke Keary. He is a former Rabbitoh. He's a former Premiership winner with the club. And in this corresponding match last year, he injured his knee, you'll remember. Something happened there with Joseph Manu. He lined Latrell Mitchell up. He came out of the challenge. Is he holding his nose? A head clash. A head clash. He just stepped off his left foot. Latrell Mitchell at the last hasn't minute. Busted that cheekbone again, Bird, has he? Murray, lovely offload to Cook at his 150th at NRL level, and now Totola. They closed brilliantly last week against Melbourne from 14 0 down to take it to Golden Point. You've got to start again, though, don't you? They can't think they can come out and, and play that same sort of football. They've got to lay the foundation, South Sydney, and Ilias's kick is a, a, a beautiful kick, and he was taken in the air Locked after he kicked over. it. No, mate, you just knocked him Good over. Good poise from the young man. He nailed that kick in the pocket, as they say, and there's a penalty here to South Sydney. Yeah, it's a great opportunity. As we see Lachlan Ilias just taken after he kicks the football. Great opportunity for South Sydney to spend some time oh. down this end of the field. They need to be really patient. Took them 65 minutes to win the field position battle last week. Now they've got it within two minutes. So yeah. we'll see what the attack does for South Sydney. Yeah, no, just keep an eye on Cody Walker. Well, the ball's gone flat. Even the ball's excited about this. <laughs> Couldn't hold it together, the Steeden. So, uh, Lindsay Collins there, a bit of a lapse of concentration. Pretty clear penalty there. Elias hadn't hit the ground after the kick. Now, Kaloa Matangi, as Andrew points out, how about the battle? Kaloa Matangi against Tupanua. Two absolute tearaways. Totola working towards the posts. Three metres out. Cook's there. And Murray's linking, and Walker is taking on the defence. Solid tackle though. Matt Butch is in to start. And Radley there as well. They wanted six more, they didn't get it. Ilias now up against the tall timber. Collins is there. And he puts the young half back on the deck, five metres out from the line. Cook now, here's Latrell with his first touch with the dummy and they knock him over. Good defence. 
Malarovsky part of that. Here's Murray. It's the last tackle. Someone had to remind them to put a kick through. Cody Walker to the in goal. It's too deep. Way too deep. Well, they got lost there. They lost count of the tackle count. No one was in position for a kick. Hold, hold. And all that pressure the yeah, three minutes has just gone. You just cannot get that wrong. Takes all the momentum away from your team. Strong tackle. Tupo wanting to offload despite being horizontal with the ground. The held call came. Tackle one. So he's able to play it. The Roosters have lost three of their last four games here. Their last win at this venue was the 2019 Grand Final. Butcher now. Hutchison starts in the number nine for the second week running. Now Sam Walker to James Tedesco to Momorowski and to Daniel Tupo. Campbell Graham fell over. Tupo pokes through them there. And tackled by Jackson Paulo eventually. Now Tedesco off the back of that play gets himself involved. Oh, Collins has knocked it on. Yeah, both teams a little bit lost with the football at the moment. James Tedesco got up in his traditional first receiver role. Close to the play the ball and got across the ground and then threw the ball to Lindsay Collins it was. Billy, do you like that play by Tedesco? After a quick play of the ball, he gets in the first receiver, or would you rather him get the ball off the halves? Well, I'd rather him involved. If, if he's there, he's got to get the ball, and he's got to challenge the defensive line like he did. The players will, will start understanding. Let's not forget Lindsay Collins didn't play last year. And they'll get an understanding of their teammate and what he wants of them. So there's Campbell Graham. He was good with the ball last week against the Storm. 21 runs, 180 metres for Campbell. And a high tackle from Siwa Taukiaho will allow Mitchell to kick for touch. And we know how good his boot is, and he finds the line on the Roosters' 40. Not a bit, Not a bit. Collins there with that lazy arm. So a couple of little uh, lapses here in discipline from the Roosters early on. They've both led to penalties. And as a consequence, South Sydney find themselves down deep inside Rooster territory now and to Tola. Six more. Hand on the ball, Butcher. Elias. Oh, Walker. He's put right under pressure by that. Sam Walker closed in along with Drew Hutchison. Cook to Murray working in tight. Butcher helping Radley with the tackle. Here's Nichols. He scored two tries in that grudge match at the end of last year. The Goats played in front of the posts. Kaloa Matangi. They were all over him as he caught that football. So four down now after the tackle count was restarted. And it's Ilias and Murray with nowhere to go. On tackle five, it's Walker with another kick to the in goal. Oh, there might have been a, a, a shoulder dropped into Jai Arrow there. The referee's okay. Grant Atkins says no, but it was all legal. He certainly wasn't just, afforded the chance that. to make a run at it, but it was all uh, all in the passage of play. Yeah, that's a better end to the set by Cody Walker. And they've got to find somehow to get Latrell Mitchell into the game down this end of the field. He hasn't touched the ball. In this attacking zone just yet, and they need to get their strike weapon, the football, down here. They've had the territorial advantage early doors, South Sydney, to toll it out. Rumbling back as we approach the eight minute mark. There's no score yet between Souths and the Roosters. Two clubs that between them boast 36 premierships. Ball played by Nichols. Here's Cook. Well, Tedesco raced out and made a tackle on his origin teammate. They've got another set of six here. Here's Murray. Oh, straight through them. Cameron Murray. It shouldn't be that easy. The South captain with the opener. 
Well, he's gone through some good defenders too. Victor Radley, Siwa Takiaho. Kids at home, Harvey Norman replay. Watch this, ball in two hands. The defenders take their eyes off the attacking player. Because of that ball in two hands, he just squeezes between them. This will show up beautifully. Ball in two hands. Defenders looking around, just squeezes through. You've got to say, that's a soft try. I thought last week against Melbourne, Billy, I thought he was out of this world, Cameron Murray. Yeah, 21 carries, 22 carries last week. His effort is never questioned. Creates a quick play the ball most of the time, but just the structure around him. Just puts the question mark in the defensive line, and he slides through, opens the scoring. So Latrell has the chance to kick the first goal of the season for South Sydney, and from right in front, he's done it. Six points and now the Rabbits with the early jump on the Roosters. Brad Fitley, your 300th game was against South Sydney in a derby. That's right. I remember I got a punch in the head off Justin Smith. I remember it very vividly. <laughs> we did get the victory, though. We were talking last night, Matt, about uh, Nico Hines and the Troy scored the courage it takes to, to go through the middle of a pack. And when you watch Cam Murray there, take his eyes off the defence. And when Victor Radley and Siwa Takiaho are around, she's a slick try, but it's a brave one as well. Yes, 38 to 10, the Sydney Roosters over South Sydney in that 2003 fixture. And Brad's team went through to the grand final where they were beaten here by the Panthers. It's like punching Bambi. So it must have been a particularly effective punch so I'm Well, I remember Gus's rule. He didn't care if someone bit your ear off. You weren't allowed to drop the ball. So I just held the ball while he punched me in the head. <laughs> they get to a kick after points here. Walker hoisting it into the air. And there's Billy Smith. He lined up on the wing last week, despite being named in the centres. And that's the way that they're running the game tonight. Manu... They're up for this. They're really up for this South Sydney. All the ball has been down this end of the ground and they're trying to get out of yardage here. That'll help. Radley on the back up. Now Tedesco, as always, hunting up through the middle with that unbelievable evasion. And now Manu. Oh, he slips one away. Tedesco couldn't handle it. I think it went both ways, mate. First one... Roosters. What do you want, fellas? That's brave. They took the odds to it, and this pass here from Manu, as he slips out of nowhere, doesn't quite stick. Well, the completion rates for both teams. South Sydney at the moment are perfect, eight from eight. And the Roosters are two from three. Look nervous, don't they, the Roosters? We'll talk about a change in weeks. And South Sydney made 19 errors right. last week, and they're perfect for the opening 12 minutes here. We're off the line, man. Let's go. Oh, but I'm a tonguey. Here goes Arrow now. Move now. Hold. Hold. Tackled by Matt Butcher. They haven't started a game in quite some time. I think I'm right in saying. Right into the fence tonight. Interesting change by Trent Robinson. Murray, the try scorer. Walker, the attacking gun. And now Arrow again. They send him into the line. Where he's held within 11 metres of the Roosters' try line. Cook working. Murray there once again. Good, good cutting tackle, that one, Tupanua. But they're playing with real pace here, South. And the Roosters, as they do, have made a play at that kick, but it's been knocked on by Sam Walker. It's been noticeable early. Damien Cook is running a lot more from dummy half. Feeding off Cameron Murray. Another 
know whether it's just possession. They're winning that battle at the ruck, but he's getting out a lot more cook. Centerfield scrum, Fuck off. Fuck 10 off. metres out. The Get Roosters in. In. are trying oh. to defend their line oh. as they do so doggedly. Traditionally, here goes Cook. He's ready for a big breakout game, Damien Cook. He started in fine pedal tonight. Metatola drags in Takayaho and Collins. And also Nat Butcher there. Now Nichols will try the power play. He's over the line. They wrap themselves around the ball. Time off. Hold up. Tackle three, Mark. And there'll be a play the ball on the 10. Third tackle. Three. Stop there, Mark. Wait. Murray inside to Tola. And uh, on play four now. I look to send it out wide. Uh, Latrell with a bat on. The ball will roll over the sideline. Play the ball. Yeah, he's Roosters. still working on his timing, Latrell Mitchell. This is the first time he's received the ball inside the 20 metre zone. He's generally really good at this play. He gets the ball out the back under pressure and trusts his pass. A little bit of rust oh. there for Latrell. Oh. Good surging defence again. Might just go to Brad here. They, they score more than half their tries over the last year, Brad, down the left-hand side, South City, but they've attacked down their right so far tonight. Yeah, this might be a bit like Sonny Bill last night, just throwing the jab out. You know when it counts, Cody Walker's going to get the good ball, and, you know, with Alex Johnson over there, Latrell Mitchell will be sweeping around that way. It feels like under pressure. That's the side I think they'll go. I don't even throw too many jabs, did he? I think he only threw three <laughs> right hands. One and one, one other. That's more than one. Keary bangs that one up high in the air. Well taken there by Alex Johnston. I feel the Roosters have gotten out of this really good. They've had to defend 11 sets on their, their try line pretty much. And They've only completed one themselves, so if they can get a, a fair share of possession, they're only six points behind. Absorbing contest in the early stages here. Ah, oh, they go left this time. Arrow, nearly gallops free. Butcher with a legs tackle. He needed someone supporting him there. Cook can run. Oh, boy, can't he run. Tackled nicely. An important one by Collins. Now Walker sends it up in the air. Johnston's after it. And it's out on the full. Because Lindsay. Billy Smith had the presence of mind to stick his foot over the sideline when he was catching that. Yeah, yeah, smart smart play, Billy Smith. Whoa, whoa, hang on. You see Lindsay Collins receiving some attention. Just watch Billy Smith put his foot on the sideline just before he catches this ball. Just explain that rule, Billy. He's going to, he's so going if to be your foot's out on the, the sideline and you catch the ball, it's out on the full. Or did he raise his foot? And same as the dead ball line. Same as the dead ball line. Great awareness. Supo. Wow. Look at this. And look at the play of the ball now. Sam Walker for Tedesco hunting. Murray and Cook. Part of that blues outfit. Lovely pass now. Butcher into the clear. Oh, he slipped over. Well, the troll's down. Mitchell's yeah, he's taken a knock too. There's no one at fullback. Walker sees it. Radley after it. Graham. Oh, Graham oh, had two cracks at it. Okay. And Cody Walker was He's there to send it dead. Before. Campbell Graham's done it, an outstanding job, but equal to that, Cody Walker, he comes from the far side. He realises that his fullback's down. Here's the break. Butcher. Oh, got him in the... Yeah. Got him in the what? Me. <laughs> just watch Cody Walker work from all the way over the other side of the field just to be there, just in case. He realises his fullback is down. Great awareness by Cody Walker.
Siwa Takayaho. Tom Burgess on the park now at 16. Now Lindsay Collins. And he's got the head strapped. He's a bit like Cam McInnes from last night. Lindsay Collins, he just puts his head where he's really not supposed to do it. Look at that. How about that? Forward. Yeah, this is around the back. I might have this one. Yeah. Pass. First side, it didn't look forward. Yeah, hard to Hot throw time. this one backwards. When you're going around your back. The defence was up, Paulo was up. Ooh. Yeah, the pass was just a little bit behind James Tedesco. And for him to promote it, he had to throw it around the back. It's just drifted forward. Now the South Sydney Rabbitohs are not only celebrating multicultural round, but also using this round as a platform to raise funds for the Tongan Relief Initiative. The Rabbitohs and the NRL have partnered with the Red Cross to raise money for the recovery efforts in Tonga. For more information on how to support, visit nrl.com slash Tonga. Wonderful initiative. And uh, Tavita Fatola, we heard from him pre-game. Siwa Talkiaho as well, a, a proud Tongan international. Brad Fittler's stat last night. Oh. was it 60-odd players in the NRL born overseas. And then 170 of their parents, one parent overseas. Certainly the, the Islander um, presence in the game is so welcome and will make up a huge chunk of the competition. Such wonderful athletes. Always one of them there. Satili Tukurua. There's a good run. That's Jacob Post. To the air. Ilias. Tupo the target. He turned his back on it. Which means he's played it's at off it. Daniel Tupo. Yeah, we'll just play the attention the of South, the chasers South the from Pretty South Sydney. Right. Daniel Tupo very rarely takes his eye off the ball. He's a great leaper, as we know. But you see all the bunnies getting down there in the drop zone. And the ball just brushes Tupo on the way down. Off the boot. You get rewarded for chasing kicks in the effort you put in. Strong start, Joy Arrow. Middle of the 10 metre line. South side to their second, Walker. Oh, Collins clung to him. Keary part of that too. Milking the call. Murray and Tom Burgess now after that incisive run by Cody Walker. They're happy just to settle it. They'll start in line with the left hand upright. So they open up this right hand side. That's the way they'll come now. Mitchell playing on quickly. And there's no room to move there for Jackson Paulo. Again that right hand side. Now Ilias. It's a good kick. It's a even better take by Joey Manu, who spent a fair bit of time at fullback. And he's quickly uh, got play. Oh, Smith put it down. Murray's picked it up. Johnston's going to score for Souths. What a blow yeah, by the Roosters. Wow. Okay. What about the transition here? It looked like the Roosters were off for the prize. We see the kick went a little bit too long from Lachlan Ilias just off the right side of his boot. And Joey Manu does a, a fantastic job, gets back to the 20 metre zone, gives it to his captain, tries to offload it to Billy Smith and then oh. the transition. Watch Alex Johnston just drift out as soon as his teammate gets the ball. Harvey Norman replay, true try scorer, just drifts away from the football. There he is there. His captain gets the ball and then gets it to the number one try scorer in the competition last year, Alex Johnston. Unbelievable. 
can't ever remember seeing something like that. But Cam Murray, the effort to get back there, he's leading the tackle count for his team. And for him to make the effort just in case to get back, he was the first player to get back there. Just goes to show just the effort off the ball. Here's the kick here. Just let this roll through. We've got Cam Murray. He's this defender here. He'll get the ball. Joseph Manu and sprint out. Just let it roll. And just watch the effort. Here's Cam Murray. Look at him sprint back mm. to get there just in case. First one back. Comes off the line. Puts pressure on Tedesco. And there he is. Just in case. Gets the ball. Finds a pass to Alex Johnson. What a play. Great spot, Joey. That's why they love him. That's why he's captain of this famous club. And they have made a wonderful start here, not just on the scoreboard, but the way that they've played. They've dominated possession. They've panicked the Roosters. And Latrell has a chance to put them out by 12-0 now. Rabbitohs. They really have picked up where they left off in Melbourne last week. They're out to a 12 0 start. Brad Fittler. Yeah, I thought it was a good little lesson for all the young kids out there. Just watch Alex Johnson when he actually scores the try. Kia Murray gets the ball. Alex Johnson could have put the ball down in the corner, but realised he could make it an easier job for Latrell Mitchell, the goal kicker. Takes it around as far as he could. They kick the goal 12 0. There's a lesson. Post. Tackled by Collins. Quick play the ball again. And Walker finds the gap between Billy Smith and Tedesco. It's the former Smith who runs back. Bounced away from one. He'll be smarting after dropping that pass from the restart. And they really earned this lead. The run for the bunnies. As they give away a penalty here. And the completion rate is near perfect. And the Roosters into feeling like they've got to push the pass and come up with some mirac miraculous play just to get back in the game. So Crichton, the origin forward, starting on the interchange bench tonight. Seen a bit of that from a few teams in the opening rounds of the season. Usual starting forwards coming off the bench. Maria Hargreaves on the bench tonight. We saw Murray start off the bench for South Sydney last week against the Storm. As Tedesco links here with Manu. Joey Manu, Tedesco races away. Oh, that's how you answer back after a mistake. James Tedesco with eight tries now in his last 10 games here. See their key men get the ball. The three playmakers, Harvey Norman replay. Goes from Walker to Keary. And then their captain and their main weapon in James Tedesco. Beautiful palm and offload by Joey Manu. It looked way too easy. Just a little play to the right-hand side. And key players get the ball and create an opportunity for their outside men. A nice little step back on the inside by Joey Manu. And well supported and finished off by James Tedesco. That's his favourite foot, the step off. Joseph Manu, right foot, right hand offload. But you're right, Billy, that, that was too easy. Nice decoy by Nat Butcher. Goes through, holds Cody Walker up, and the right foot step, left hand fend, right hand offload. Considering they've only had 30% of the ball to be down, if this kick goes over, only by six. Be over the moon. Sam Walker. No problem. 
This ground, a poor stadium as it's now known, has seen some remarkable things across the years and some remarkable players, but maybe James Tedesco's achievements here might, might be, if not the best, well, certainly up there in the upper echelon. Back-to-back -back grand finals in 18 and 19, it, that Origin Series winning try of 2019. He revels in the big stage and in the big game to play here. Brad Fittler. He's got that wonderful try on the inside of Blake Ferguson. I was just going to say, he could have had some demons, James Tedesco, just then. His last three balls have hit the ground or gone forward. But what he did, he gave the ball early to Joseph Manu and decided to support, as he did just then. It's a nice way to get yourself back into the game. Here's Keary. And here's Johnston. He's got a rooster wall in front of him. Smith and Manu. The leading kick chasers. Surrender tackle was the call, which means Johnston essentially gave himself away in that tackle, which gives the defenders some extra time to get off the tackled player. Checking the ground after the held. Checking the ground after held. You just stayed on there, fellas. Got to get up. And yeah, just up. getting back into the game, the no, Roosters. No, a scored a try and then completed their set. And the Bunnies needed that little penalty to get out of this end of the field. South City's new coach, Jason Dimitriou. Spare a thought for him. He's none and two coming into his third game. A golden point last week. Could he win his first game as an NRL coach against the Roosters? That'll be something he wouldn't forget. He's also up against uh, Trent Robinson in his 236th game as an NRL coach with a strike rate of 64%. So he's... He's got it all uh, statistically against him tonight, but his team has started in great fashion. Mitchell, he got away from the tackle of Manu and promoted it to Milne. But Manu uh, hurried away there and helped Billy Smith to make the tackle. Murray for Ilias, now Kaloa Matangi. He's trying to spot up Sam Walker. He got it away to Campbell Graham. Momorowski. The ever-reliable Paul Momorowski with the tackle within four metres of the Roosters' line now. A kick from Ilias. Oh, Walker might have been knocked over there. The referee saying he wouldn't have got there. And uh, Kerry's run it dead. So they continue to administer this pressure. And they look nice and dangerous on that left-hand side of the field. They did Latrell Mitchell. And as we see him chase a kick here, yeah. I'd like to see a little bit more energy in his game and, and back up his efforts. Get on two or three plays a set. Cut off the ball, back to the square. Hold, wait. Eight. Oh, Murray. Oh. Well, he punches at less than 100 kilos, this bloke. But gee, his work is remarkable. And the amount of tackles he breaks, too, Andrew. Low centre of gravity. Yeah. Top speed quickly. He's got that late footwork. Just gets in between defenders. Plays the ball so fast. So Cook. Kerry raced up on Walker. Tries to come back in the middle. The Roosters have got them covered just at the minute. As Walker runs across, he turns Kaloa Matangi back under. And the tackle made by Victor Radley. Last play. Cook, Ilias. Ball comes out the back. And it's a Rooster ball. That was a really good sign there from Lachlan Ilias. He had the ball ready to pass on the outside. And he saw the rushing defence and pulled it back and took the tackle. 
It shows your players on the outside, your back row, your centres, your fullback. But if the pass isn't on, oh. he'll wear a bruise. There's a it's how you, run. That's how you build confidence with your outside runners. JWH is out there. He's been stewing on the bench for the first half an hour. He'll be marinated and ready to go. Brighton now. You'd love to have seen Rhea Hargreaves in one of these derbies back in the 80s, wouldn't you? Mitchell. He's down there. Maria Hargreaves. And uh, Connor Watson, too. Super sub. And now Johnston, they're muscling up here. Trent Robinson's men, three tackles made. They haven't travelled too far. Now, Liam Knight, who we haven't seen at NRL level since these teams clashed in that match that last year, round 24, he's had a lot of problems with concussion. It's good to see him back out there. Good player, Liam Knight. Elias now. It was touched, so everyone's on side. Oh, how's that? That was lovely by Momorowski. Now Sam Walker, the little fella. He's beaten two or three and, and wanted to pass there, but decided against it. Nice work. 19 try assists last year for Sam. He came into this Roosters outfit in round four of last year's Premiership after Luke Keary was ruled out for the season. Only their third game tonight as a combination. Now Tedesco, six more tackles. This is where they really bite you, the Roosters. They get on a roll, Tedesco up the middle. And Walker playing it again, Keary. Maria Hargreaves underneath, Knight there to meet him. And Watson waiting for him. Looking pass to Radley, one-handed catch, Keary. Butcher now. Tried to get in between that gap. Tane Mill and Luttrell was up there along with Cook. So they draw drawn Luttrell into making a tackle. Oh, the tap one over the back wasn't there. It was they, a penalty anyway. They had two three rucks in a row. Thing. Yeah. You were offside in the one prior. Cody's offside. That's Try to three marks. You're not going to get back. Oh, what happened there? They're starting to look really dangerous and find their groove, the Roosters. And Sam Walker running the football. Tedesco looking dangerous through the middle and on that right edge, that combination between Butcher and Keary. Just keep an eye on that. There goes Crichton. Within four metres of South Sydney's line. Oh, Watson! A little gap opened up, but it closed quickly. Didn't have the pace to get through it. The Roosters on the back foot for the first bit of this game have a chance to draw level here. Maria Hargreaves. He would celebrate while it's grand final night if he gets on. Oh, Tedesco with an air swing. And Walker's dived on the footy. Yeah, it's not a bad place to turn the football over and play one. Tane Milne straight over Victor Radley. It's a great one. He's keeping Josh Mansour out of this team. Matane Mill, a veteran journeyman, you probably call him, but great faith shown in him by the coach Jason Dimitri. Now, Ilias starting to feel more at home. Takes on the defence once again. Oh, he's mucked up to play the ball. Put it on the scrum. Clock on. Got him on. There's a real chance here with five minutes to go in the half. We see Ilias just take the line on. There was a bit of a, sp a bit of space in front of him. Got down one-on-one -on -one tackle and just played the ball forward. Feels like a final, this, doesn't it? Only early in the year. Great intensity from both teams. And uh, this is where we play the big games in Sydney. A core stadium here at Homebush, the old Olympic Stadium.
It's been a wonderful start to the 2022 Premiership. We've seen some outstanding games of rugby league. Half time nearing here, and the Roosters are starting to find their mojo. Here's Tedesco. Crichton now. He's playing in the middle. Butcher right back row, Tupanua left back row. Bradley, he doesn't often miss his target with the pass. That's played out here, off a leg and over the sideline, so they'll get the ball back. Yeah, just watching the Roosters no, 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 attack. Oh, hang on. It's a handover. You want, where do you want it? Middle, middle, middle. No, the Roosters. One right, one right. Just watching the Roosters attack and okay. you know, Kiri, Walker and Tedesco just swinging the around just the field. The touch. They're not locked into Locking. a side. Tom, Tom. And Kiri will be on the right-hand side, then he'll come over to the left and it's so hard to defend against. Maria Hargreaves now. A lot of defensive work for South in the last five minutes or so. Crichton. He's a former Rabbitoh. Played 55 games for the club. Tackle three. Get out the back. Someone else play it. Leave the ball here. What's that, mate? Bleeding. Bleeding Give us the ball, though. Angus, we can keep going, mate. Four. We got tackle four, three, tackle three. Hold there, wait, no. Cam, you're not square there, mate. Wait. Bradley, Trippanoa. Oh, good tackle. That was Ilias around the legs. Brilliant tackle. Try saving effort. Bradley now. One on one, Cook got him around the ball. Last tackle, Rhea Hargreaves. A space here, Kiri kicks. Ah, oh, they've held them out well. Great defense. Great attack, great defence. Scrambled. Big tackle from Lachlan Ilias on Satili Tupanua. Great scramble. There's the tackle there. That was Kalal Matangi that came that ball up. Yeah. It wasn't the trail. Great half of football. South Sydney, they've been sensational, haven't they? Walker on the last. Bounces up nicely for James Tedesco. Less than two minutes on the clock. And the Roosters and New South Wales captain returns it. He's tackled by his opposite skipper in Cameron Murray. Now Daniel Tupo. Just a brilliant yardage winger. Not impossible to stop sometimes. Kiri. That ball took a touch forward off Jackson Paulo. Somehow Momorowski keeps it in the field of play. It would have been a rooster ball anyway. That was a bullet. Yeah. And just that little deflection off the hand stopped it from hitting Momorowski on the chest. with the tackle on Sam Walker. Bradley for Rhea Hargreaves. Jacob Post has been good off the bench. Now Tedesco tries to pull through the middle. Kaloa Matangi closes the gap with Damian Cook. Walker chips over the top. He's got some chases. It's a contest that went backwards, and Paulo has it for South Sydney, and he'll get in the field of play. Oh, that might have been forward. And another strong run. That's Tano Mill once again. And now Liam Knight. 
And South have got themselves out of trouble here. And they'll, they'll head to half time with a converted try advantage. Lachlan Ilias. He might have had his best half in the NRL so far, the young South Sydney halfback. Now, Rhea Hargreaves just threw a shot into him there as he was giving up after the half time siren, but that. He's a good 40 minutes of Friday night footy here on Nine's Wide World of Sports. Can't wait for the second half. It's the Rabbitohs 12 over the Roosters 6. Yeah, the faces say it all, don't they? They're the Roosters trailing here tonight by six points. What have they got in this second half after a talking to from their coach, Trent Robinson? They're chasing back-to-back -back wins after a slow start to the year. It's South Sydney in front. Second half action now, back to the commentary box, and over to you, Matthew Thompson. Yes, James, it was a great opening half, and the Roosters are fighting to avoid four consecutive defeats to South Sydney. Ampole, fueling the second half. Thanks to Ampole. We're asking this question, gentlemen. We've got two star fullbacks out there. Which one of them is going to win the game for their team? Starting with you, Billy Slater. Well, they've both got the ability to, but Latrell Mitchell's only had four runs in the 20 sets that the Rabbitohs have completed. I think the Roosters are going to turn the heat up on the Bunnies here in this second half. And that man on screen, James Tedesco, he will be in the thick of it. So I'm going James. Probably be more involved. Tedesco is in everything. But we saw last week against Melbourne, when the game's on the line, Latrell wants the ball in his hands. I just get the feeling tonight, this will go down to the last minute for sure, this game. I just get the feeling Latrell We'll have something special again. I'm glad you said that because David Middleton gave me a list of historic clashes between these clubs. On Anzac Day in 1973, South beat Easts 16-15 and Bob McCarthy kicked the field goal for South Sydney. Will there, be an, will there be an unlikely hero tonight for one of these teams? So what are you saying, Lindsay Collins? He's going <laughs> to nail, nail a 40-20. I would love to see that. I would love to see that. I don't think Lindsay, Lindsay hasn't had a kicking license since he was about eight years old, Andrew. Oh, here's the first mistake of the second half, and Sam Walker has pounced on the loose ball. They started the game flawlessly. They've started the second half poorly, the Bunnies. Now Manu, Joey Manu is going to score. A mistake. And then a try, the ultimate price for South Sydney. The Roosters could be level here. Well, if we thought their first try looked way too easy, this one looked extremely easy. Harvey Norman replay, this was the mistake. Burgess, Tupanua just underneath the football. They certainly turned the heat up coming out from half time. As the ball goes out to the right hand side, there was nothing really on. Luke Keary gets the ball. And you see Liam Knight, he just stops for a second. And Joey Manu comes off that right foot again, opens the scoring in the second half. Nothing wrong with that one. I just want to highlight Liam, Ma um, Liam Knight. When the ball goes away, he plays for the penalty. Someone's in front of him. So the ball, let it roll, let it roll. Now this is Liam Knight here. Just keep your eye here on him. The ball will go away, and that butcher will stay in the line. And Liam Knight goes and stops and plays for the penalty. Look, he puts his hands up and looks at the referee. Been watching too much footy the last couple of weeks. Make the tackle. Don't play for the penalty. He'll go right foot, right foot again. And then Liam Knight, he just stops on the play and appeals to the referee that Nat Butcher's in his way. Is that a little bit Latrell on Latrell? Slamming the ball down, Joey Manu. I'll have to have another look at that after the break, I think. How about that for a start to the second half? Sam Walker can't bend it back.
Wow. First tackle error and try. That was too easy. That was way too easy. Just watch when Joey Manu scores the try here and slams the ball down right in front of Latrell. <laughs> we cast our memory back there last year in that grudge match towards the end of the year. Yeah. Latrell did the exact same thing. Uh, Watson. Now we're at Hargreaves. Host rushing out of the line. And then help from Walker and Cook there as well. Long pass from Dummy Half down Radley, who runs. To short of the halfway. Connor Watson, Luke Keary. Booze for the trail. Joseph Manu again. Coming a long way in to get involved with that tackle. Yeah, well, if they were they're trying to convey the notion this wasn't personal during the week i think we've seen the contrary so far in this game they came together early there was a head clash manu's slammed the ball down next to his head after scoring one two the fellas come in and get back we're seeing a lot of penalties in the opening three rounds of the competition for leaving early Just, uh, Check it, play the ball from Graham. Just catches the Roosters offside. Here come the Bunnies. Here's Knight now. Crichton, Rhea Hargreaves and Radley. They all combined in the tackle now. Centerfield, Murray. And Host. Pardon me, that's Arrow. And Ilias away to Murray. Oh, lovely play, Walker. Cody Walker, oh, that's a beautiful piece of football. Murray with a delightful bit of sleight of hand on the inside. Well, he changes his line as the ball is in the air. Cam Murray makes the pass. I think it's Liam Knight. Watch, he'll start and he'll move on the pass, get to the outside. Now it's Cam Murray. Just oh. plays back on the inside. Harvey Norman replay. From the front on angle, if we can see that one again. Just watch Cam Murray. As the pass comes, he comes off his left foot to get on the outside of Tupanua. And then gets himself into space. If we can get that front on angle, this will look absolutely sensational. Just the way he starts on Tupanua, but when the ball's in the air, he actually moves into the space. It's a beautiful pass. We just stop it right there. Here's Cam Murray here, and it looks like he's running into this gap here. So Tupanua looks up, sees Murray, and then his sight goes inside to the ball player. But then as he passes the ball, watch Murray move on the pass to the outside to get himself into space. No, oh, yeah. That is just... Class, absolute class. And who better on the backup than Cody Walker? Souths are pumped after that effort. What a magnificent piece of skill by Murray and then Walker to back up and break the tackle. So it's 18-10 now. And two tries in the first five Sorry, minutes mate, after half time. Put a leg over the side of him, mate. And now a penalty. You've got to get straight off. To exacerbate the momentum that Souths have got after that. Cameron Murray played a lot of rugby union. He was at a scholarship at 
Newington College. He played in the centres. And I'd imagine playing rugby union when on the 40, on the there's 40. not much space. Mm. He would have had to learn to get himself into space as the ball was in the air. That, that was... He made it look easy. That is incredibly hard to do. Well, Walker was right there on his shoulder, Joey. So I'm sort of wondering if... I was pretty meditated. been practicing that yeah, during the week. He, he was waiting. Sure. Yeah. See, penalties in this game have played a big part. A lot of them have been scored off directly. And that one from the Roosters has enabled South up their end of the field once again. Ilias eventually tackled by Angus Crichton. Inside, Knight now off Cody Walker. And the halves are moving over to the left. So there's something coming here on tackle five. Ilias, he'll go to Cody. This is their left-hand side. And here's Johnston. He put the ball down. Oh, hang on. Chelsea went back. He's kicked that. He kicked it. He kicked the ball. Wow. Well, it was great cover defence by James Tedesco. But even better awareness by Johnston. He just puts the ball on the boot, running the ball on the last tackle. Harvey Norman replay. You see the referee's got his hand in the air. Elias shapes the kick and goes to Cody Walker. And then the ball goes out to Johnston oh. and he puts it on the boot. And Latrell Mitchell, he's in the game. Well, he barely kicked it. It must have been his shoelace. <laughs> it, it went nowhere, but look at this. Oh, does he kick it? He, I don't know if he did. I think he's dropped that. Did he stand on it? I think he's... It's not a slated drop kick. I don't even think he's hit the ball. They will be looking at this in the bunker. But the try was scored because of his last play. We'll just pause it right there. Because of his last play, Billy Smith here... For what, Ashley? He's hanging kick. back for the kick. It okay, gives him room on the outside. They're going to the bunker. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Ash, can you, can you sort of do a potential knock on rather than a kick? It didn't look like a kick from where we are. Admittedly, I'm we're blinded because Johnson we're behind the ball. Oh. No, that's it. He's dropped that. He's brushed it. To be considered a kick, he's required to kick it from the toe to the knee inclusive. Let's hit the ground first. The ball touches the ground and comes off the heel of Alex Johnson, which constitutes a knock-on. We have a decision. You've been eating your carrots, Billy. You can see that from a long way away. It was close. It's up here. It's a knock on. It's a play the, it's a play the ball here. It's the last tackle game. Marcus. Well, they get away with one there, the Roosters. See here. Oh. I'm happy for it to be a knock on. Daniel Tubo might go to Brad actually. Uh, Sideline, it's been a ferocious start to the second half, Brad, but Souths are, are breaching this normally uh, steadfast Roosters defensive line, aren't they? It's been on the back of the two penalties. Had a really qu quiet crowd here after they scored the first try, Joseph Manu's try, and then all of a sudden they give up two penalties, bring the crowd back into it, they just march down the field and they got their second try, so. You know, they've just got to kick into corners, put some pressure on the Rabbits, get the ball down here, and keep the crowd out of the game. Johnston on the fly. Look at that kick chase there, right across the 20-metre line. And this prodigious try-scoring winger, Alex Johnston, who you'll think back a couple of years ago, was in danger of being lost to the club because of salary cap. I reckon, I think they're right in saying there was a petition from South fans to keep him at the club. 30 tries last year. Mitchell for Paloa Matangi. Telstra is proud to be the naming rights partner of the NRL Telstra Premiership for 21 consecutive years. Wonderful support. Now Arrow. He 
He's been strong. Been great through the middle since he's moved there. Started the game on the edge. A kick out wide. Graham gets up there along with Paulo. The catch is taken securely by the very long Daniel Tupo. Now Momorowski. Oh, big contact on Smith. Graham and Cook. Now Maria Hargreaves. Look at this. There's four tackles gone here for the Roosters. They're not at their 30 yet. Kiri, he's seen enough. He's kicked from well inside the 40. And Mitchell, he can attack the footy. So th these boos, like I'm looking around here, Andrew. I I'm seeing mainly South Sydney jersey. So there's there's a boisterous section of Roosters fans here somewhere. Piece. Mitchell on an angled run. Crucial tackle by Sam Walker. Here's Elias. Watson that time with the defence. Five tackles gone, a kick by Walker, and it's, it's been taken well. And it's young Sam again. Two big players in one set. Tupanua, we well, gave him a wrap at the start of the broadcast. He haven't really been seen tonight. Satili. Got your baker on the field. Oh, good shot. Really solid. Havili in 15. Super experienced campaigner. Another of the Tongan Brigade. Out now for Billy Smith. Walker's copped a knock in that tackle. He's a bit slow away. And Keary steps up and kicks high. No problems for Johnston. 18-10. The South City Rabbitohs leading the Sydney Roosters. What a spectacle on Nine's Wide World of Sports. Friday night footy from headquarters in Sydney. McCaw Stadium, quick play the ball. Nice work. Book. Oh, he beats that Crichton pointlessly there. Been really dangerous tonight, Damien Cook. That's his ninth run of the game. Here's a really. Five and last. What have they got coming off the boot of Walker? It's a high ball. There's three South players, including Johnston after it. Smith takes it. He beat, oh, he beats them all. Billy Smith. He gets away from Arrow. Great return by Billy Smith. And smart play. Knew he was going to be a chance of being put out and just dived to the ground. Well, that could be a momentum shift to that piece of play by Smith. Fletcher Baker now within a couple of metres of the halfway. Carey looks in, plays out, four car bit of room here, two goes in from the wing, he's half through a hole. He's pulled down in a desperate Jackson Paulo tackle. Sam Walker. And Crichton tries to step inside of Murray. Carey now. Here's Tedesco. Good defense, Campbell Graham. But they've got right up on that South Sydney's 10 metre line here. There's a kick coming. Peary's the man. It's a flat one. Manu! Oh, he got up and nearly took that. He, tackled in he the was air. dragged down by a South City right? defender, right. and it's a knock on yeah. against yeah. Manu. The call. Will they challenge? Well, he had it in his hands. Yes. No, they're not yeah. going to challenge. It's a beautiful here, kick. Go. Nice and low. Didn't give the defence time. See Joey Manu get up. I think it's a contest for the ball. I think there, Milne's right? grabbed him on the shoulder. Luke! Is that what you're challenging? They're going to challenge this. Yeah. I think it'll be successful. This captain challenge. Claiming a tackle in the air. So the referee thought it was a contest. Billy says it was a, a jumper pull. Let's see. Well, it was a contest 
until Manu gets the ball. Starts off as a contest for the ball, but as you can see, Tane Milne now grabs the right hand and locks oh. Joseph Manu under the armpit, which is a tackle. We have a, our challenge is successful. You're set for the bunker, Billy. You're too good. No, thanks. You don't even need a replay. No, thanks. It's bananas you've been <laughs> We save time. Just get Billy doing all the official. There's North Queensland fishing. bananas. Is that for you? <laughs> Did you have a rot there, Billy, or something, somewhere? He does, and then it becomes a tackle. Maybe not with the bananas, but there's a few others going on. They'll get another set here. Eight points behind the Roosters. Maria Hargreaves. Here's the test for South right now. They're out by eight points. The Roosters have finally got some quality ball down their end of the line. Great hands. Tedesco on to Manu. He's been a handful. He always is. All the South jumpers wrapped around him. Now look at that. Five or six of them. JWH. Takes three of the bunnies to pull him down. Jai Arrow, the main one. Walker through Kiri. The pass was behind Tedesco. He copped a whack on the back of the head. Yeah, not the first time that pass has gone behind Tedesco. He thought about the flick around the back, but decided against it. And Tane Milne and flew out of the line again, a little bit behind Tedesco, and, and Milne just cops him high. Here come the Roosters. Here's Bacon now. Right underneath that black dot. Watson! Oh, he went awfully close there. Maria Hargreaves, then Crichton, now Tedesco. Palmed off Mitchell. He's going to go back towards there. Kalama Tangi and Ilias combining to bring the Rooster Skipper to ground. Short side play. Brilliant tackle! That's, is that Tane Milne again? Got it right that time. Jeez, he's belted a few tonight. And a penalty. Well, that makes it an even better effort. Wooshka. Oh, how good is that? <laughs> oh, and he gave him a gobble as well for good measure. That was heavy contact. Well, they survived the Rabbitohs. Red line, fellas, red line. Did really well. Game of footy. Engrossing Roby League. Kalama oh. Tangi up against Walker. Momorowski comes in to help out with the tackle. Lachlan Ilias out the back. Damian Cook standing out wide. Played two games for the Dragons where he started his career. Then, uh, obviously, at Canterbury and has played 141 further games for South Sydney. Murray Collard, in a literal sense. Fifth tackle. Walker stabs ahead. It's off a rooster boot. Sam Walker's got it back. It's a penalty to South. Sam Walker into Satili, who's behind him. But then he picks it up after touches you and he's in front of you. That was a try saver on Cam Murray. He, he, he's playing a 9 out of 10 tonight, Cam Murray. Close to a 10. Oh, oh. There was what? no fullback behind the line. Tedesco was in the line. And the ball goes out to the right-hand side. They're on the ropes here, the Roosters. Harvilli now. Wrapped up over the top by Crichton. They stay in tight. Here's Arrow this time. Look at that. 27 play the balls inside the Roosters. 20. Four Souths. Cook. Right to Ilias. And then Walker. Jim Momorowski is a good defensive centre. Six again. 
side. This is big pressure. Damien Cook and a dummy and run here by Arrow, who's dumped into the ground, Maria Hargreaves and Crichton. The roost to the defensive wall. It's had a few cracks, a whack in it so far tonight, but it's standing up just for the moment. Four tackles got on this set. Campbell Graham, uh, Kaloma Tuggy, he burrows and scores. It was relentless, this attack, and it had to crack. The Roosters were doing a great job turning South Sydney away. Harvey Norman replay. Nice little play out to the right-hand side, and Walker drops Graham off. Quick play the ball. The Roosters just get up too quick. Kalal Matungi just dives over. It was a great run from Campbell Graham, leaves Satili Tupanua on the ground. And then Sam Walker gets up on the left side, which isolates the marker. And Keong Kaloa Matangi. He's a player, this young fella. I think he was in the extended New South Wales origin team last year. Might bring Brad Fittler in to talk about Keong. Keong. Yeah, coached him in the under 16s and 18s. He come through with Cam Murray. They played together over at Mascot. And always a super talent. Oh, no, look out. I don't know what they found here. Ash, can you please review grounding? Grounding? Grounding. Right, Billy. Well, Away you go again. I didn't see this one. Just checking whether Keon Kolomatangi maintains position. Oh, no. Does he re-grip? Well, I don't know if he does. He certainly if you loses lose it. possession, you have to re-grip it before you can put the ball down legally. So let's see at home, what do you think? Well, he certainly loses the football there. I can't. I don't think that's re-gripping. Andrew? Mate, you've got to have hands like Sonny Bill Williams to re-grip that ball. I think he gets a hand on it, and I think there's downward pressure. How are you supposed to re-grip when the ball is about eight inches from the ground? So the ball comes away from the hand. Keon is required to re-grip it before it touches the ground or an opponent, which he fails to do. We oh, have a decision. Wow. Yeah. Gee, we've seen a few of them. For the me, he gets his hand back on it, and he gets a little bit of control. Where are you, Freddie? Well, I think we need to give Fletcher Baker there a huge wrap. He just never stopped trying. He got his right armour around the back of Keon and just probed for something. End up touching the ball, released it out of his grip and saved a sure try. It could be telling in the outcome here. A couple of changes for the Roosters. Rhea Hargreaves off. Angus Crichton off. And Collins is back out there, as is Siwa Taukeaho. Looking to offload. Pops it nicely. Watson. And there's Lindsay Collins. Harrow wraps him up. Satili Tupanua. That's what he can do. He can punch holes in defence. Oh, they're seeing the ball tonight. Now Taukeaho. This is a powerful running set by the Roosters. Only four tackles down on this set too. Sam Walker for Luke Peary, for James Tedesco, for Joey Manu. That was out in front of Smith. It was forward. What do you want to spun up? Yeah, defended. What well, seems like five, six, What's seven minutes the down their end, the Roosters. A little bit frantic here. It's easy from up here to save it. Take the tackle, get a good kick away and build some pressure. I think they're playing a little bit, a little bit frustrated, a little bit frantic. Haven't really built any pressure, the Roosters. Yeah, their timing and their connection on that right-hand side Still a work in progress. Gorgeous night in Sydney. There was some rain falling around the place 
earlier, thankfully. We've seen very little here today and, and none as the game kicked off. It took just two rounds, but we've already seen someone collect 100,000 cash by playing NRL Pick'em. Remember, it's a free-to-play game, so download the NRL uh, Pick'em from your app store. Submit your tips and be in the running for the weekly prize of 100 grand. Good effort. Pass out the back where Ilias is waiting for it. Way to walk up. How about that? Around the corner. A juggle by Jackson Paulo. Here's Ilias now. Walker after it. Johnston after it. Billy Smith knocked it on. Big pressure there for South. The chasers were thundering after the kick. And the Roosters have to defend again. There's that urgency on kick chase once again for the Rabbitohs. This time the left-hand side. Walker was there. Johnston was there. Post. Just enough pressure on Billy Smith. Ooh, hang on. Has he touched him before he gets the ball there, Billy? Let's well, that's go. a penalty. There's no hey, challenge. We're down to play on. 10 seconds. Arms around. Where's Cody Walker? Ready. Right of the scrum. Hold. Go to work here. Hold. He's got Campbell Graham and Tane Milne over that side with him. Tries to stand up Sam Walker. He's done a terrific job in defence, Sam, tonight. Obviously, he's a target player for opponents, but he stopped pretty much everyone that's come his way. Played by Arrow. Colour! Tangi won't drop this one. Ah, oh, Souths are cutting the Roosters apart. Well, it's the same sort of line that Cam Murray ran. He starts on the inside of Satili Tupanua, then fades out on the pass. Sam Walker gets up past the ball. Kalama Tangi goes over. Dropped it over the line, what, two minutes ago? Didn't take him long to, to make up for that. Yeah. The lower Matangi with a match-defining try. This is the homework try. You see Sam Walker rushing out of the line. He likes to shut the play down out the back. And Kalal Matangi just hits that little outline into the space. You see Sam Walker get off the line and try and shut the play down out the back. Yeah. And Kalal Matangi starts inside Tupanua and then drifts to his outside shoulder where he's isolated. That's a coach's try, that one. What are the coaches feeling? None from two leading into this one. Mm. If he kicks this, Luttrell, which I'd say he will, goes up 14 points. I wonder if he's comfortable. I say no. No. Kamar now, South Sydney. Long way to go, though. That comes to Tola now. Now we go, Victor, let him go! Oh. 
coach. Does it look comfortable? Billy? Not no. Blinking. <laughs> well, did you notice when we're part of the, the multicultural round celebration, and they've got chocolates attached to the, the laser there. In, I'm not sure what they're called officially, but the lay around their neck. I wonder how many of those he's actually eaten tonight. Brad? No, he looked too focused for them. It was interesting when I asked him, did he get the week right? He said, well, he was really happy with the back end of the Melbourne game. And he said his team took a lot of confidence into the week from that. And you can just sense a little bit of calm about what they did last week. So, yeah, he was ready. Their attack has flowed a lot better tonight. I think Elias has had some great touches. Cam Murray out of this world. And Cody's looking far more comfortable. They've controlled the game, haven't they? The Roosters have done so much of this stuff. Trying to get out of danger. Well, they've had 57% of possession. At one stage, halfway through that first half, they had 70% of possession. So 20 from 23, they completed in the first half. They're up to now 33 from 38. Where the Roosters at 19 from 29. They're elite numbers. South, there's a nice ball. Takiyaho. Tedesco there in support. And they want to jag one soon here, the Roosters. They don't want to leave it too late. Kiri, oh, that won't help. And it's picked up by Paulo. Oh, he tried. Oh, he slips the ball away. Mitchell! Latrell Mitchell on the counter attack. Down the wing he goes. Latrell is going to score. Unbelievable. Zero tackle. He enjoyed every step of that run. Well, it was only a matter of time before, before Latrell Mitchell put his stamp on this game. And it was an opportunity on the left-hand side of the field. Harvey Norman replay will show this beautifully. You see Luke Carey just drifts across to the right-hand side on the last tackle, looking for an opportunity. The ball ricochets off a couple of roosters. Goes to Jackson Paulo. Oh, Alex Johnston just finds his trump card in Latrell Mitchell. He knew he was home. Did you see where Latrell came from? He came from 20, 25 metres away. Everyone else thought he was just going to take the tackle, Jackson Paula. But Latrell, he's one of those match winners, game breakers, X Factor, whatever you want to call it. He knows how to get him in position to make the big play. I think Origin last year where he took that intercept. Yeah, he's happy. The great players have got great anticipation. You mentioned Latrell here, just watch him underneath the post there. And he drifts across the, the field to be in position. And as soon as the ball hits the ground, and everyone else just stops. He everyone senses stops. an opportunity. Uh. The great players have got great anticipation for our game. How sweet it is. Latrell gallops away. It sounded like the Roosters they, too. They, they were great pitches, weren't they? Yeah. I was just going to say, it sounded like the Roosters to give up on the play like that. Oh. So much pressure on him coming into this game. Only his second game of the year. He'll want oh, to kick. He's posed for the, for the photos as well. He'll want to kick this one, Billy, as a goal kicker. Scores you try, you want to kick those goals. Bunnies continuing their recent dominance against the Roosters. Latrell, that'll be the one that features prominently on the highlights reel. Great pictures that the South Sydney fans cheering him on and we'll have Latrell 
as a guest in our post-game show, so stick around. 28-10. Oh, South look horrible in the first game of the year. Horrible in the first half against Melbourne. They looked, they looked like a, a totally rejuvenated team in the second half against Melbourne, and then that, we, you've, you've got a side that's played in such dominant fashion tonight. Played by Collins. Alex Johnson's gone to fullback. Latrell's gone to left centre. Bradley tries to sell a dummy. Tatola wraps him up with Cook. Walker combining with Keary now. Satili Tupanua. Can't put him on the ground. Not many can. Tedesco with the kick. It's a nice one too. Johnston. Oh, he passes in the end goal. And uh, is he back? No. Nope. Is that Tedesco making that tackle? Well, he kicked the ball. Great effort. Ten minutes to go. You know, I wouldn't read into Latrell moving into the centres too much. He's he's still getting his match fitness. Still finding his feet. When you've got Alex Johnston in your team, Stay back. he's a great replacement. He's always in the game, James Tedesco. He plays two, three positions. Plays fullback, gets him first receiver, plays like a halfback. Takes hit ups like a forward. He must be incredible. <laughs> Collins, that's a good run. He'll be able to play this pretty quickly. And the Bradley to Kiri Tedesco tapping on there. Plenty of South jumpers though. Surrounded Billy Smith there. Manu out of dummy half. And Kiri to Sam Walker. Fires a pass out for Momorowski. He beat Campbell Graham. He slips a pass to Daniel Tupo. There's, there's one try. And all come back, start with the first try. Well, is it too late or is there enough time? There was a nice ball movement from the right-hand side to the left. Harvey Norman replay. Again, the key players touch the football. Walker gets it, gets the ball to Tedesco. Or it goes in front of Tedesco to Momorowski. Puts a beautiful spin on Campbell Graham. And then Tupo. He strikes. The Roosters are still alive. They've still got a pulse. Daniel Tupo on the uh, the end of a lovely bit of play there. They went from sideline to sideline. There is time. There is certainly time. It feels like he's been around forever, Tupo. And the kick's over. <laughs> Sunday Arvo footy. We are heading to Suncorp for Chemist Warehouse Sunday afternoon footy with the Broncos up against the Cowboys. It'll be a huge Sunday of Rugby League in Brisbane. Massive crowd expected too and you'll see it all live here on Nine's Wide World of Sports. What are you liking that one, Bill, on Sunday? This is going to be a cracker. Really looking forward to this game of footy. It's been a long time since they've played each other in form. Time Both on. teams playing Stay some great close. football. Started the season really well. Love that right edge of the Broncos. Tony Staggs and Salmon Cobo. I'll be tuning into that one. Well, Joey's the official captain of the Selwyn Cobo fan club. Yep. Rare Sunday game for the Broncos. The we play every Thursday or Friday night. The players will be loving this game, playing on a Sunday over. The ground will be in tip top here. There he goes. Lindsay Collins. Well, one more here in quick succession. And 
We've got a finish on our hands as they move out to the left again. Tedesco and Tupo wrapped up nicely that time. Still a couple of players remaining. Bradley. Oh, Radley with a bit of space here. Just got in behind Walker. Cook got across to close him down. Sam Walker. Kicks long. Taken well by Milne. And Walker's down there chasing his own kick. Oh, that's brave. Pops a little pass it. Back to Campbell Graham. See if the Roosters can hunt up here and force a mistake. South so slow getting back. Look at that. There's, there's still four of them standing in the Roosters' defensive line. So it looks like it'll be all one out running for the minute. Here's Nichols. Just under six minutes to go. Good for Jacob Host. Murray tackled by Taukayaho and Sicily Tupanua. Gilius with a kick here on the last play. Tupo. Nowhere to go. Time ticking away. They need to find another one. And they've got to do it in the next minute or so. Is there a trick shot somewhere for the Roosters? Billy Smith. Sam Walker off Radley and Tedesco. They've got some numbers here. Teddy can't squeeze past Campbell Graham. Momorowski. Now to Sam Walker. They go back the same way. It's Momorowski once again, he keeps it alive. Tupo, Tupanua, Taukiaho, sizes them up, goes to Radley, out to Kiri, Butcher drops it. Doubles. And it's hard from here now. There's some tight boys out there on both sides. And the Roosters throwing everything at this match. Four and a half minutes to go. Dangerous with the football, and that butcher just couldn't handle that one. Billy, did you ever play with Cam Murray? No. The rip footy? No. no. Always poking his nose through the oh, defensive what a, line. What? Play. He's always a middle. Played eighty, hasn't he? It's always a middle forward. Yeah. And now he's, he's played, played edge in Origin. Find a little bit of time on the edge. He's, I think Wayne Bennett tried to use him on the edge at the start of last season for a couple of weeks, but just he's so good in amongst the, yeah. the big defenders. Well, they're going for a rest now. In the New South Wales team, yeah, by Zay Yo. Mm. Pretty. Well, he also played a lot, of, a lot of centre for South City as well when there were some injuries a couple of years ago. I remember distinctly at a while of a game against Parramatta, the Combank Stadium at centre, so he could play anywhere. Jason Dimitriou is going to get a win. He's first in the NRL. And Walker with a grubber kick in behind. Joey Manu there to clean up. And that will be a relief because he's filling the shoes that were worn by the great Wayne Bennett. So there is huge pressure from a coaching perspective. He's going to prepare his team to to come out and play at the Roosters and, and get a win. You'll always remember this one. Oh! A tantalising pass. The so Roosters knock on. Bring in That's challenge. Milne. Knock on. Again. Rushing pass, defense. Tony, knock on. He's an aggressive player. Here I'm challenging that on. See yeah, him read this play. Process it was, Ash. It's going to be a captain's challenge. Ash got a captain's challenge. Bruce is disputing a decision of a knock-on. We've ruled it as a bat-on, not a pass. So it's over to you. Hey, Sam. Sam Walker fires the ball. Out to his left edge. 
It's Momorowski. Goes between his hands. Just have to look to see which direction the ball goes from Paul Momorowski after losing possession. A reminder to Macca's golden points straight after the footy. Don't don't leave us. There's a lot to talk about in the wash up, and we'll hear from Latrell Mitchell, who's been the focal point of the week leading into this. Would have taken Billy Slater this long. After touching the ball, the ball goes backwards towards his own goal line. It's play on at this stage. The ball's then picked up by Satili, and the whistle is blown for a mutual infringement. We'll go back to the previous play of the ball. So, that two minutes means that nothing's changed. We just keep playing the ball. Well, the Successful. only thing that's changed Successful. is the Roosters are Successful. still alive. <laughs> So they've Who got a score in this set. 12 points behind. Hey, where are we? Where's the mark? Everyone's confused. Tackle three here, Joey Martin. Play the ball here, tackle three. Goodness me. He's lost it. He's lost tackle, the ball. Wait, Jacob, last wait. tackle. Well, we waited so long for, for the bunker to, to make up its mind that everyone lost count of the tackle count. And then Connor Watson's hey, mate. somewhat aggravated. All we're trying to do is get on with it. Stand there. You get out of the way, you play it. Stay there. Oh, no. no lovers out there tonight, Andrew. Now Jacob Host. That should be his uh, I think his first taste of it in the Eastern Suburbs Derby. He's done a pretty handy job tonight. And Kaloa Matangi. One of the stars, one of the try scorers, Haveli. Last minute here, 45 seconds to go. Souths are going to get their first win of the year. Cook with a grubber. The Roosters play at the ball. Radley picks it up. And they're going to cover their left again. Sam Walker takes off for a run. Well, for Souths, it is a real a confidence boost and, and they'll be up and about at training this week because they've got a meeting with the Premiers. It's a rematch of the grand final next week up against the Panthers at Penrith. They get a standing ovation here, South Sydney. Look at the fans. They've knocked over the Chooks for the fourth time in a row. They don't need any more encouragement, Latrell. They are more than satisfied with what they've seen. And the Roosters have seen enough themselves. It is a, a rivalry which has lasted the test of time. And it goes the way of the grand finalists tonight. South Sydney, most impressive. They're on the board for 2022. It's full time, it's uh, South City 28 over the Roosters 16.